The history of the sandwich. Whether it's a PB&J at a picnic or a foot-long sub for supper, sandwiches are a simple, savory, and portable option for any meal of the day. But do you know how they were invented? Let's delve between the bread slices to find out the story of this delicious dish. The sandwiches that started it all. The first recorded mention of a sandwich-like meal dates back all the way to the first century BC. Hillel the Elder is reported to have started the Passover tradition of putting lamb, mixed nuts, and herbs between two pieces of matzo, which is flat bread. In the Middle Ages, people would use thick slices of stale bread called trenchers as plates for meats and vegetables, creating an open-faced sandwich, but the bread was sometimes too stale to eat and was often fed to the dogs and farm animals. In the 17th century, taverns in the Netherlands started to serve something that looks a lot more like the sandwiches we eat today. They would hang cured beef from the ceiling of taverns that would be sliced and paired with bread and butter for customers. Slowly, the sandwich started appearing not just in Dutch taverns, but also among aristocrats as a late night meal. The sandwich got its name from 18th century English nobleman John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, who often ordered meat between two pieces of bread. The story goes that he liked his meal so much because he could eat his meal and continue to play cards without getting his hands messy with grease. Soon, people started ordering the same as sandwich, and the name has stuck ever since. Even though he is not the inventor of sandwiches, sandwich is a name that has gone down in history. By the 19th century, the sandwich had become popular all over Europe, especially in England because of the Industrial Revolution. People needed easy-to-make, easy-to-carry lunches that would fill them up for a long day of work at the office or doing hard labor. Every class of person enjoyed sandwiches, and there are now sandwiches of all different kinds and flavors and for every situation, from the bite-sized cucumber sandwiches that you might eat at tea with the queen, to a good old tuna sandwich you might find in your Flash Gordon lunchbox. Did you know? A court in Boston, Massachusetts ruled that a sandwich must have at least two pieces of bread to be considered a sandwich. Have your say. What's your favorite kind of sandwich? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.